welcome to the magical Turks and Caicos Islands. We are here today on a beautiful beach in North Caicos with a gentle practice that is perfect for you to start your day. As we move through this class today, I want you to truly take the time and connect to your breath. Set an intention to let go of anything that no longer serves you today. And as you take each deep breath in, I want you to imagine that you're welcoming positivity, love, in peace, into your body, into your mind, and into your soul. So with that said, find a peaceful, quiet space, turn off all of your distractions, and join me on the mat. Alright friends, we're going to begin today seated at the back of your mat with your knees together. Let's take a reach of the arms up to the sky as you inhale and exhale. Bring your hands to heart. Just taking a deep breath in on your exhale, interlacing the fingers, open the elbows out and just begin to make a wave movement with your arms. And this is a warm up for our wrist, for our fingers. Try to make as big of a wave as possible here. Very gently rotating the wrist up and down. And then extending the elbows, extending the arms in front of you. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, reaching both arms up, palms of your hands are facing up to the sky. And just a gentle release of the chest here. Feel that stretch in the forearms and the wrist. And then release, taking your body all the way down into your child's pose. Taking a gentle inhalation. On your exhalation, you're going to roll up into your all fours position as you arch the spine. Take another inhale. And now exhale, come back into child's pose. We're going to do that a few times. Come forward, inhale, arch. Exhale, round the spine, sit back into child's pose. Nice, gentle movement here and again. Inhale, arch, look up. Exhale, round and sit back, stretch out those shoulders. Inhale now from here, arch the spine, look up, drop the hips all the way down, extending through those knees and thighs as you come into your upper dog. On your exhalation, bend the knees, round the spine into your child's pose. So similar movement, except now we're extending the knees. Go ahead, come forward, upward facing dog, look up. Exhale, bending the knees, slowly round your way back into child's pose. Beautiful, and again, rounding through, inhale, look up, drop the shoulders away from the ears. See if you can lift the thighs off the floor. Slowly lift the hips, now keep the knees straight and see if you can keep the toes curled under. Inhale, drop the hips, look up into your upward dog. Exhale as if you're coming into a downward dog, but keep the toes pointed. A wonderful stretch for the toes here. Inhale, look up. Exhale, push back. Now this time, release the feet and come into your downward facing dog. Give yourself a moment here to just stretch it out, walk it out, bending one knee at a time. Feel free to add a little more movement into the hips, into the shoulders. Just do what feels good for your body here. Great job. Now slowly from here, just take another deep breath in. Exhale, allow both heels to sink closer towards the mat. Look up, bend your knees. Go ahead and take a big hop towards the very top of the mat. Inhale, come up to halfway, and then exhale, bending into your standing forward fold. And slowly from here, rounding up to standing. Let's take an inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. And again, inhale, big reach up. Exhale, dive it all the way down to the mat. Hands to the mat, inhale, extending your back. Exhale, stepping your right foot all the way back into your left high lunge. 
arms reaching up to the sky, find your center here, find your balance and breathe. We're just going to add some movement of the upper body. Stay still with your lower body. Dive your chest down to the knee, arms around for one. Big circle with the arms as you dive down and up for two. Arms come forward and back and around for three. Work with your breath here. Inhale, exhale up for four. Hold it, exhale, release the hands back down onto your mat. Step back into your plank position, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, pushing back into your downward facing dog. Take a moment, take a breath. Beautiful. Bend the knees, hop forward to the top of the mat. Inhale halfway, exhale forward fold. Bending the knees and once you're ready, round up into standing. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, center. And again, big breath in, reach up. Exhale, diving yourself back down into your forward fold. Inhale halfway. Exhale, stepping your left foot back now into your high lunge on the right side, arms up. Center your body, square off the shoulders. Just breathing deeply, staying present in the moment here. Let's add that movement with the upper body now. Ready, on your inhale, come forward. Exhale up for one. Inhale, come forward. Feel free to exhale through your mouth here for two. Inhale. Exhale for three. Big arm circle here. Come down. Exhale for four. Beautiful. Find your center again. Drop the hands back down to your mat. Step back into your plank. Chaturanga. Take it down. Upward facing dog. Inhale. And exhale, pushing back releasing into your downward facing dog. Beautiful job. Let's go ahead and reach the right leg now up to the sky. Holding that three-legged dog for a moment, bending the knee now. And now stack the hip so that right hip comes on top of your left hip. See how far you can bend that knee as well. Now to warm up the hip, we're gonna start to circle that bent knee for one, just try to draw as big of a circle as you can with that top leg for two. Wonderful movement to gain more mobility in your hip. Last one, extending the leg. Now bend that top knee. You're gonna bring your ankle over towards that bottom knee. So like you're doing a standing pigeon, except we're gonna stay in a downward facing dog. Now you can stay here and feel a gentle stretch through that right glute or to add a little more depth, you're going to bend the knee. So bending the supporting knee and trying to get your chest as close to that thigh as possible. You're gonna really feel a nice opening through that hip, through the glute muscle here. Hold and breathe. Just breathing into any tension you may feel in that area. And then releasing back up into your three-legged dog. Stepping forward with your right foot top of the mat and reaching the arms up into your high lunge again. Hold for a breath. Take the arms behind your back, interlacing the fingers and opening through that back, through the chest. Beautiful, slowly now let's shift all of our weight towards the front foot. Keep the hands behind you. And then take your warrior three posture here. See if you can keep your arms behind your back, fingers interlaced. Hips are staying square, the shoulders are staying square. Find your center, the point of concentration. Just stay and breathe, you can do this. Finding that alignment with your hips, with your shoulders. Breathing. Feeling the sensation of the breath. Stay focused, stay present. In your beautiful Warrior Three, you're almost done. Let's take another deep inhalation through your nose. Long exhalation with control. 
stepping that back foot all the way back into a warrior one. So find a good center, reach the arms up, keep your front knee bent. And then from here, you're going to extend the front knee, arms at your hips or behind your back if that's more comfortable for you. Opening up and then releasing from the hips into your pyramid posture. Seeing how far you can bring yourself down with your forehead reaching for the knee. If you have any trouble with balance here, feel free to bring your hands to the mat. And just breathe. Again, focus on the inhalation, exhalation. Staying with your breath here. Nothing else matters except your inhale and your exhale. Breathing deeply, feeling that nice sensation through the hamstring. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Make sure your hips are square. Always think about pulling the right hip back, pushing the left hip forward. Let's release the hands now to the mat. Now again, you can just stay here or we're going to come into revolve triangle by bringing the hand over to the outside of your front foot and reaching up into your twist. Look up towards that top arm. Twisting from the belly button, trying to keep your hips still square to the front of your mat. A wonderful posture to boost your digestive system. Breathing deeply, welcoming oxygen into every muscle, every organ of your body. Slowly, let's come down with your gaze and reaching both arms up into your warrior one. Stepping forward into your Samastiti. Inhale, let's reach up. Exhale, dive it down. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, stepping back into plank. Take your Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. We're going to take it over to the other leg now. So the other leg is reaching up to the sky into your three-legged dog. Bend the knee and begin to stack the hips first. So that top hip comes on top of your bottom hip. Bending that top knee as much as you can. Try to keep your shoulders square. Now begin to circle that top knee four times. Drawing as big of a circle as you can, warming up that hip joint. Wonderful, last time, big circle. And hold it here. Stacking the hips one more time. And then taking a deep breath in. Exhale, release the foot. Go ahead and bring the ankle on top of that knee. We're gonna hold that downward facing dog, feeling that stretch in your glute muscle. Extending through the upper body here. Pushing your hips back so you really feel that stretch deep into the glute muscle. And again, if you'd like to go a little bit deeper into this posture, go ahead and bend that bottom knee. So you're balancing on a bent knee in a downward facing dog position with the other leg crossed in front of you. Really feel that deep sensation through the glute muscle. And from here, let's extend back into your three-legged dog. And exhale, stepping forward with that foot into your high lunge one more time. Arms up, finding your center, finding that point of concentration. Now take your arms behind your back, interlacing the fingers, opening the chest and just holding for a second. Finding that center. And once you're ready, shifting all of your weight towards that front foot and extending that back leg into your warrior three, keeping the arms behind you with your hands and fingers interlaced. Now, if this is too challenging for you, you can always bring your hands down to the mat or keep them at your hips. Just try to keep the hips and shoulders aligned square to the front of your mat, breathing deeply. Engage in your abdominal muscles so you feel how your core is helping you stay in balance. 
Just breathe, focus, do your best. Inhale and exhale. Let's step back down, releasing the arms up into your warrior one, front knees bent. And then once you're ready, you're going to extend the front knee. Your arms are going to come behind your back or at your hips if you like to take it a little easier. And then start to release with the chest all the way down towards that front thigh. Pyramid posture. Hold and breathe. Begin to feel that release through the hamstring. Think about pulling your front hip back and pushing your back hip forward. So trying to keep your hips square. Breathe. With each exhalation, go a little bit deeper. So working with the breath sending oxygen into those muscles to release any tension, any stress, anything that holds you back. Just a couple more breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Just be present with yourself. Let's release the hands now. We're going to move on to a revolved triangle, so see if you can cross your hand over to the outside of your front foot, and then release the other arm up to the sky, keeping your gaze down, or to add a little more difficulty, look up towards the sky. Hold and breathe. Feel free to close your eyes and bring your awareness inward. Just notice what your body's going through. Releasing toxins, releasing any negative energy that no longer serves you. With each inhalation, welcoming peace and positive energy. Let's slowly release. And once your arms come up, bend the front knee into your warrior one. And then from here, step forward into your Samastiti. Beautiful, let's reach the arms up to the sky, inhale. Exhale, come on down into your forward fold. Halfway, inhale. Exhale, step back into your plank. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, lift and open. Exhale, take it back into your downward facing dog. Beautiful, just take a second here, take a deep breath into your lungs. Exhale out, bending both knees, take a big hop and see if you can land over to your mat. Once you're on your mat, extend your legs in front of you, reach the arms up to the sky and on your exhalation, folding from the hips, keeping your back straight, come into your seated head to toe, forward fold. Breathing here and just letting go. If you can reach your toes or your ankles, that's great. If you need to bring your hands behind your knees to start, that's also wonderful. Just choose whatever variation fits you best today. Breathe, feeling that sensation in your hamstrings, releasing any tension, any stress, any soreness in the muscles. With each inhalation, welcome positive healing energy into any part of your body that you feel needs it right now. Your brain is so powerful. Your breath is so powerful. Set an intention to let go of all that no longer serves you with each exhalation and to welcome everything that you deserve with each inhalation. Just stay here a little bit longer. Begin to notice how your body lets go. The tension slowly releases and you find yourself able to go a little bit further, a little bit further. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful job. Just keep breathing. Inhale and exhale. You're almost done here. 
Let's take our final inhalation. And as you exhale, let go, reaching the arms up to the sky, and then placing the hands behind your back, pointing the toes, lifting the pelvis and the hips up to the sky as you drop the head back, reversed upper plank. Hold here for a moment. Imagine like someone's pulling you up to the sky from the hips. Lift up. This is a wonderful counter posture to our seated forward fold. Beautiful. One last breath in. And exhale. Drop your body. Scoot forward slightly. Reach the arms forward. And slowly take it down through each vertebra of your spine. Letting go of your head. Extending the legs. And taking your final asana here. Your shavasana. Breathing deeply. As you close your eyes. And at this time, completely let go of your body. Relax your face. Let go of any tension in your forehead. Allow your eyes to be heavy. And clench your jaw. Allow your tongue to lay softly in your mouth. Completely let go of any tension in your face. Let go of your shoulders and allow the shoulders to melt into the ground. Notice your breathing. Notice your heart beating in your chest. Relax your body. Relax your glutes your thighs, your calves. Allow your feet to be heavy as two rocks and your arms heavy by your side. Completely surrender your body to your mat. Surrender yourself to the floor underneath your mat. Surrender your body to Mother Earth completely letting go. Be the watch of your thoughts. No matter what may come into your mind at this moment, be aware of it, but then let it go. This moment right now is dedicated to peace and serenity. This moment right now is for you to let go and just be one with yourself, with your inner self. You deserve this. Now slowly begin to bring your awareness to your breath. Keep your body still. Just notice the inhalation and the exhalation. And then tell your body that it's time to wake up, time to take on the world and be the best version that you can be. Begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. And then reach the arms over your head as you give yourself one last big stretch. Rolling over to one side with your knees bent into your fetal position. And whenever you're ready, come on up over to your seated position on your mat with your feet crossed in front of you. Just take a moment to connect with your breath again as you inhale, reaching the arms up to the sky. And exhale, bring the hands to your third eye chakra and then down to your heart. And one more time, inhale, reaching the arms up to the sky, gathering all that positive energy. On your exhale, bring that positive energy down towards your third eye, your center of intuition, and then down towards your heart. 
taking a moment here to bow down to yourself and thank yourself for your incredible practice today. Thank you so much for joining us in beautiful Turks and Caicos. I send you love and light, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to follow us on social media like Instagram and Facebook. Lots of love. See you soon.